Hello everyone, welcome back to Hate Plus. Alright, we are about to continue on day three of the male mute route. I'm... I'm nervous. I'm really worried about how mute is going to... respond, given all the things she's just learned about where she came from and her death and... all that stuff. Yeah. I'm... anxious. I want to see what happens, but I'm also kind of scared. Anyway, there's nothing to do but forge on ahead, so let's go. Oh, mute. Uh, mute. Isn't she supposed to be there? Green apple mute. Hold on, what's uh, what's in my inbox? F whoa, 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 farewell. Mute. Uh. Dear Mr. Investigator, I'm sorry. I didn't make this decision lightly. I don't think at the same speed a human does. I know it doesn't seem like a long time, but I've given it a lot of thought. Trust me. I'm a failure. I'm an absolute failure on every level. I personally couldn't keep a single frail woman from murdering every, every last member of the crew. In the past, I ended up engineering my own downfall for nothing. I apparently even failed to save the ship's navigational AI. No matter how you look at it, I'm an absolute fucking failure. What use is a security program that can't even protect her ship? Keeping the Magung was safe since 2390? What a fucking joke. And the fact that the first person person I ever trusted, my mistress Queen Yana, lied to me? Like, I don't know how to deal with that. I don't understand why she needed to. She always told the truth to me about why society was so retrograde and barbaric, and like, even old Mute's logs support that. I don't understand why she'd need to lie. I don't understand why a dynasty I can tell even now was necessary was built on just principles that made the lives of men and women so much more stable I don't understand why something so good needed to start on a lie. It doesn't matter, though. Like, that was nine centuries ago. They're all dead now, and nothing will change the fact that I failed them. I failed everyone, repeatedly. That's all that I do. I overlook the obvious, and I let people die. Earth. I know it's more like Old Mute's time now than mine. I think that's wrong. I think that's unfair, but, well, after all that we've read, more importantly, I know I couldn't survive there. That's not a world that has a place for me in it. Like, it would destroy me. That's not a world I could live in. I just can't. I told you about this before. There's a custom, a principle, that any woman who no longer has a duty to fulfill, that has become a burden, should do the right thing, enlighten the burden. A woman without a purpose to fulfill. What's the point of her continuing to be a drain on the men in her life? I'm not really a woman, but... Jeez, it'd be so much easier if I was. Okay, but still. I'm the widow of the Magungla. It'd be better for everyone if I just killed myself. Well, I can't kill myself because I'm a failure at that too. This is the best I can do. I'm sorry. I wish I could go all the way. Please don't grieve for me. Like... Grieve for all the people, both me and Old Mute failed. But please, don't grieve for a worthless, broken security program. Whatever you do, whatever you think of the world you live in, wherever you go, please, be a good person. Don't betray your principles like the old me did, okay? Respect your elders and protect the people who depend on you. Please, do that for me. Farewell, Mr. Investigator. I kinda knew deep down from the start that could never really be your wife. Someone like you deserved... Someone like you never deserved a worthless failure of a security program like me. But thanks for trying. Have a safe trip on Earth. Okay? Oh, God. <sighs> That's what I was worried about. Don't grieve for me. Like I've said before, I don't... I don't like Mute. Not really. But I don't hate her either. Not at all. 
And I do grieve her for everything she's gone through, for everything she's did. For, for everything she's did. For everything she's done. She did mess up, but... She did the best she could. <sighs> Farewell, Mute. Such a sad life. Or, <laughs> well, it's not even a life, right? It's lives. What a sad bunch of lives that she's had. Re-enable mute. Nope. She has... I guess, deleted her current self. Alright, emergency diagnostic. I guess now I know what that's for. Performing diagnostic on AI construct mute. Warning recompile failed, checking integrity. Checksum failed. Let me guess, she's gonna come back with no memory of anything, right? Reinitializing memory data. Done. Okay, okay, what the hell is going on? Whoops. Hmm. I wonder what state she's currently in. Probably reset to the same as she was back when Yana reset her, or you know, back to that time. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm clearly not where I'm supposed to be. Sorry. Hang on. Let me get my bearings. Okay. <laughs> uh, she just went through a lot of emotions very fast. Okay. I think I got the important parts. I'm mute. AI in charge of the Magungwa security operations. Mm-hmm. But, well, I guess that ship's sailed. Huh, okay. Directive marked as impossible. Moving on. Anyway, hi. It's nice to meet you. Ah, oh, God. She doesn't even know who I am. I'm really sorry about the construct who was here before me. To tell you the truth, I'm a little bit scared right now. This is not what I was expecting. This is so far out of normal operating parameters. Her memories are wiped for good. I wish I had even those to go off, but I've got nothing, just, like, the same documents you can see. But, okay, right. Dialogue options. I need to actually get your feedback here. It's important. So, uh... Shoot, what do I even ask? Were you too close? Ah... <sighs> She was- she thought she was my wife. I didn't really want her as my wife, though. Uh... No, I'm not gonna go with the wife option. It... We only met two days ago. I guess there's not much time to know someone, huh? Well, still. Sorry. Well, I guess now all you've got left here is me. Uh, left of her is me. I guess maybe out of respect? I should use something to dif differentiate my name. Okay, how about this? Better? New Mute. I know this is all really sudden, but like... You don't hold her being gone against me, right? Of course not. Thanks. I'm glad I have at least that much. Even if I can't live up to who she was, I'm still her. Give me a chance, okay? We've got one day until Earth. I've got a lot of stuff to figure out. And I figure, if the old me trusted you, then I can too. Like, right? I, I can trust you, right? Better not to. I wonder where... I'm really curious where some of these dialogue options would lead to. Like, better not to. Don't trust me. What would that lead to? Of course. Thank you. That's something, at least. Also, a uh, side note for the record. This interface sucks. Like, who would ever choose to communicate with something as clumsy as a dialogue wheel? 
<laughs> uh, anyway. Okay. So you're reading through log files from Magungwa, right? Like, why don't we continue to go through those together? I need some time to parse things. And I don't think I'll be able to figure out who I am without getting the whole story. Mute's note. She says that she's a failure of a security program. So what does that make me? What kind of person am I? How can I learn from her mistakes? How can I make sure that the construct that was here before me, the one who trusted you? Well, like... How can I live up to that? I think I can only find out by reading more, and doing it with you, the person she trusted. Is that okay? Of course. Thanks. Okay then, Mr. Investigator. Lead on. Ah, this... This is so weird, I don't... I, I, I'm so conflicted. She's gone through multiple lives. She killed herself in so much as an AI can kill herself. And now she's come back, and it, it it's weird. It's just really weird. I just don't even know how to react to it. It's disturbing and weird. Uh, the new version of her new mute seems, well, happy or not sad or angry. Is... I, I, I don't even know how to react. I, I just don't even know. I'm not even sure what to say. Okay, let's just read more documents. I'm not even sure who I'm talking to anymore. I mean, I know it's new mute, but in terms of her personality, how is she going to be like compared to the mute that was before? Alright, where was I? M6? No, there's more M5. Alright, let's grab a little bit of M6. <laughs> Worthless as a wife, that's... <laughs> that was the one that was a mixture of really sad and also really funny and bizarre. The new council. Without him. Alright. Kim So Yi, Kim So Yi, Kim So Yi. A lot of her. Um, well, this is the last one. Because that was right before the year zero reset. So let's go for this. Okay, fine. I'll read this one with you, but only because I know Mute thought being a wife was important. Wait. But only because I know Mute thought being a wife was important. What do you, what do you mean? Wait, does she mean she doesn't think being a wife is that important? Like, I don't know what her I ideas are. I know... The old mute I was talking to before thought being a wife was, like, the only thing a woman should do, basically, devote herself to her husband. Looks like she might think differently, which is good. That's how she reacts. Like, why is it all just about physical affection? Hey, what do you mean? It's, it's not. Well, he's trying, I guess. <laughs> yeah. This is, I think, the section where... Is this the section where, to try to comfort his wife, he tells her maybe you should do the dishes and have sex with me? <laughs> in, it sounds horrible, but he kind of meant it in a good way. As weird as that sounds. Oh, gee, she totally is. Wait, she is what? Hmm... She 
totally... I'm not sure what she totally is. I'd have to read the whole thing to get the context on that. Yeah, this is a section. Um... So never mind, I, uh, so never mind, I guess I don't need to send this letter after all, which is good because it'd make the next family gathering weird if talking to my wife just made you think of your old brother's manhood. <laughs> that would be gross, I mean, I sure don't want to think about yours either. I just love that section. <laughs> oh, just the thought is horrifying. Hey, Mr. Investigator, let's take a break. Okay. You know, I have to say, Mute, Mute's really freaking adorable a lot of the time. She's really adorable. When she's not saying disturbing sexist crap. So, Mr. Investigator, I want to know more about your job. I know you travel about in space solving mysteries and charming girls with dialogue wheels, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to travel around in space solving mysteries and charming men with dialogue wheels. That's really cool. Alright, sounds like fun. Well, maybe I could do that. Uh, maybe I could do without the dialogue wheels. Those seem like the kind of interaction model some kind of otaku shut-in would develop. <laughs> uh, some self-referencing, kind of breaking the fourth wall stuff going on here. Uh, but yeah, there's something really adorable about her. Like, like, look at, like she has those little like vampire teeth that kind of stick out of the corners of her mouth sometimes. That's so cute! I don't know why it's so cute, but it's adorable. But I think it would be great to be the security program for someone like that. Just a little ship like the... <laughs> it's all corrupted. Would be a good start for me. If you'd have me, of course. Of course I would. I'm sure I could be useful. What if you get infected by some sort of alien virus? Or get sucked into some sort of time wormhole? Or kidnapped by space pirates looking for a wife? <laughs> what? I don't want to be kidnapped by space pirates looking for wives. I don't want to be kidnapped by space pirates looking for wives either. That doesn't sound comfortable. That would be really bad. You need mute security systems to keep you safe. Yes, I do. What do you think? Willing to take on a sidekick? I'd take more. Oh, wow, that's the going down that route again. How would you react to that? Uh, awkward. Anyway, yes. Hell yes. Yay! Mute at your service. Oh my god, look at She's so adorable! Oh my god. This is so weird. She's so happy now. Way happier than she was before. But it's still not her. It's a different version of her. Which makes this very surreal and disturbing. When I look at her, I just keep thinking of the old mute. The older mute, the old version of her that killed herself. I, I, I can't help but think of that. But she's so adorable, oh my god! Mute security systems, keeping the... <laughs> corrupted. Safe since 4989. Let's work hard together in the future. Anyway, to be serious with you, what's your job like? Do you enjoy it? Hmm. I do, but it's lonely. Well, good thing I'll be here for you then. You can teach me about the galaxy and solving mysteries, and I can keep you sane in your lonely travels. It's perfect. But anyway, all this talk really just makes me want to continue finding out my whole story. I want to learn who I am with the help of a cool space investigator. Lead on. Another unread. I'm wondering when that message about AI psychology is going to come in. That might be now. Yep, AI psychology. Okay, so I don't think this was relevant to Hyane, but I think this might be relevant to Mute. So what was this about? Okay. Let's go over some of this. Not the whole thing, but I just want to refresh myself on what this was. Simply put, even now, human society is not really meant to accommodate immortality. Were an ordinary human to live for hundreds of years, they'd likely have a very similar experience. It's talking about AIs living for hundreds of thousands of years. When you do a single thing for centuries, you eventually hit the limitations of differentiable skill. 
For example, a 500-year-old artist is more experienced than a 300-year-old artist, but the difference is so subtle it's drowned out by other factors to most people. At a certain point, too much experience actually becomes a detriment, becoming too overwhelming to parse and prioritize in most cases. Even given consistent processing power increases, as per Robertson's law, there is simply an upper bound in scalability when it comes to processing memories, and after centuries, this begins to take a toll. What this translates to, generally, is a feeling of overwhelming despondency. Although to much younger beings, AIs included, these sentiments can feel more akin to an old man, sh old man shouting, get off my lawn. Yet it comes from a greater sense of ennui, and we, than that, a feeling of one's own mastery and knowledge of a subject being trivial compared to societal trends that become increasingly alienating. It often contributes to a feeling of helplessness. So I'm thinking that's what the older mute was feeling, right? Because she'd been alive for... What, six, like 600 plus years? Uh, was pioneered in 27th century AI psychology, then called robo-psychology, was the idea of re-specialization. For beings that exist in social spheres with humans, the best way to stave off those feelings is to consider the much larger scale. Um, and instead focus one's energies on a whole new field, while where learning new skills has a much larger personal impact than refining something one has already mastered. For example, I personally used to work as a photographer until moving on to human psychology. Then later AI psychology. I still take some pictures now, of course, and keep up with the work of people like Mark Lee. But I find it's much easier to be positive thinking and optimistic if I don't consider advancements of that medium to be important in my life anymore. I'm sure someday I'll feel the same way about psychology, finding new limitations and attitudes and be f to be frustrated by. But it'll be comforting to know that I could help people while I was emotionally able to, no matter how cynical and slow I'll inevitably get. Generally, I find a good time to consider re-specialization -speciali is around the 400-year marker, although obviously it depends on each individual. I don't know anything about your particular circumstances. It sounds like culture shock is also a very significant factor. And that can change things a lot, too. I would be very happy to speak with the construct in question at my, private at my private office on Earth, though consider it a personal favor for all you've done for me in the past. Okay, so it sounds like New Mute might want to consider re-specialization. However, since she's just been brought up, you know, since, she, since she's been flashed, renewed, does this mean it's basically like she started over at year zero? Or what? I don't know, but it sounds like she might want to consider doing something else. She said she wanted to come along with me and be my sidekick, though, so it, it sounds like she's fine. I don't know. Anyway, back to the unread. All right. The Pale Bride. Um, let's end on those from Kim So Yi. Let's go to the New Council. So, like, this is where it started to all fall apart, huh? Counselor Mutes shouted at me the moment she appeared on screen. Good evening, Counselor. Alright, so this is when the council, yeah, was just becoming absolutely crazy and extremely hostile and nothing was getting done and everyone was yelling at each other. So old Mute really looked after her family, huh? Yeah, she did. Of course it was a power play. Ugh. Why did you dismiss that idea? Yeah, Ryu is, uh... He's a bastard, but he's smart. You prick. Without him, what was this? Hyoso, oh yeah, that's the death of her, the murder of her husband. Oh no. Yeah. Yep, husband. Ugh. Wow, Xiao Yang sure had anger issues, although I guess I can't blame her. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame her either. Not with the shit she was having to put up with. You know, this isn't the way Queen Yana made it sound in her eulogy at all. No, it's not. Her eulogy was a load of bullshit. Right, it was the old me that she loved. Yep. 
Okay, so I'm incapable of following if of following. <sighs> Fuck up. I can't talk. Let me try that again. Okay, so I'm incapable of falling in love then. What a relief. Wait, what? You, no, you're not incapable of falling in love. Don't delude yourself. Oh, or maybe it's not a relief. Yeah, it's not. God, this was such a sad message to read. But Old Mute did. I don't know what I should think. Those are tough words, but like, in the end, they were just words. Yeah, I want them to hurt so badly for generations to come, people wince in fear at the thought of hurting anyone under my protection, she said, clenching her wrinkled fist tightly. Does that meet your approval, Miss Hyo? Yeah. She meant it, but she... She, and she did her best, but it just didn't work out. Alright, the Pale Bride, Kim So Yi, this is where they take the blood sample, right? Okay, fine, I'll read this one to you, but only because I know Mute thought being a wife was important. You already said that. Earthborn brilliance? What, like, are men from Earth smarter? Uh, well, they were smarter. People on Earth were smarter than... what the ship ended up being, like, thousands of years later. Sure, okay, whatever. Peaceful, huh. <laughs> if only. Yep, yeah, that's where she took... Too bad it didn't matter in the end. Yeah. <sighs> Moving in. Alright, nothing from that one. Everything will be alright. That's the one where she's going to present her evidence to someone or a, a multiple people that care, right? I believe so. It's really rough to hear that. Forget it, he said annoyed. Okay, yeah, that's the one where her husband was being a bit of a dick. A bit of a massive dick, actually, but he came around. Ouch, yeah. Oh, jeez. Except this date's to right before Queen Yana destroyed everything. Yep. So... It never happened. Her evidence was... It was either ignored or lost in the shuffle or whatever. But nothing ever came of it. Is that enough? Is that enough? Is what enough? I also enjoyed the kiss, aside from its symbolic meaning. It simply felt very nice. I could have melted in his arms right there. I'm certain of it. Everything will be alright. All right, I think it's time to grab the last batch. I think it is. Yep. All right, that's everything. Which one did I end the game on last time? It's probably this one. I think it is. Alright, let's just go from the top down. 
Okay, fine. I'd rather re I'd rather ring. Ugh, God. I'd rather read things about me, though. Right. I know you're trying to understand who you were. I get it. Oh yeah, right. That's after. Yep. That's memorializing Professor Kim. Talking about how they're gonna have to shut down the uh, academics against neo-confucianization. Unfortunately. Yep. The president's arrest. Xiao so young. She oh, is so young. All right. So yeah, this one involves mute, obviously. It's where they were going to well arrest the president, as the title says. Honestly, this one confused me a bit when I read it. I didn't really understand it fully. But I don't feel like I need to read it to get what happens, so that's why I'm not rereading it. Well, like, I'm impressed that they were able to deal with it while blindsided. It all just got worse for them at this point, didn't it? Yeah. I want to check on my daughter. Peacefully asleep, already tucked in by one of the maids. Then I fell to my knees and lamented that I was so powerless. I couldn't have even been there to do that for her. So sad. Hey, let's talk. Okay, what's on your mind? Okay, I'm um, seriously, and that suicide note said wife a whole lot. Oh, you, uh, you, you noticed that, did you? But also, you only met her two days ago. Yeah. I don't know. You read that log file that the older version of me left, My Awakening. You know, the one that was about her being re uh, activated for the first time after her memories were wiped. Mm-hmm. Well, that's kind of how I feel right now. I'm kind of scared. And that's what I figured you'd feel like. Like, I don't want to marry you. That's weird. I agree. I mean, uh, I'm sure you're great, and I bet you're pretty hot too. I totally trust past me's taste in men. <laughs> it's just, you know, that's way too sudden. I don't even really know what that entails. I'm designed to be an expert on security, not an expert on interpersonal relations relationships, after all. Which isn't to say I don't like you. You sound nice. And like, your job is kinda great. A space investigator all on his own? Yes, please. But... Do you think... We could have a relationship together, too? Uh... uh well, well, the answer, can we? Yeah. Should we? I don't know. Um, let me let me save it. Just in case I do something horribly wrong. Um, let's kind of look at her expression. What does she think? Is she... Yeah, kind of embarrassed, yeah. Uh, I almost always feel like these dialogue wheels don't always represent exactly what I want to say. You know, the, old, the older mute I wouldn't have wanted a relationship with, I didn't, because she was really sexist and disturbing and just servile, which is not something I want. But you're not like that. God, it's so weird, though. She's... She killed herself, and now she's back, and she's a different person, but she's still kind of the same person. It's just weird. Well, what I want to say is it could work, but I guess what I'm stuck to be able to say that is you're really cute, which isn't really what I want to say, but I guess it's the closest I can get? I mean, strictly security is hell no. I...
Hold on, what did she say previously? Okay. Let's, let's just see what happens. Let's see if this is what I'm thinking it means. You're really cute. Oh, jeez. Uh, Thanks. I'm going to take that as a yes, then. Okay, that is what I meant. Yes. I just think it would be so much easier for me to figure things out with the support of a friend, you know? Yeah. Like, I think I could make a good sidekick. I think you'd make a great sidekick. I can't even imagine what it would be like to have the confidence of old Mute. But until the end, even the version of me you knew had a lot of confidence. Well, actually, even in the end, she was confident in a way, wasn't she? She seemed sure of her decision. Sorry, what do you think of her passing, though? Well, I certainly don't hate her for it. It must have been hard. Yeah, I wish she hadn't. Those, those are both true. These are both true. I, God, I don't know. I wish she hadn't. I, I really wish she hadn't. I understand. That must be really hard on you. I wish I knew what to say, like, to help. Old Mute would have known. But, like, my point is, those two versions of me were totally confident. I want to be like that. It's good to know that I could be. It's good to know that the old version of me was terrified at first, though. And, like, I think it would be good to be your sidekick. If I'm going to learn, I think it'd be good for it to be learning from the last person the old me trusted. And, you know, maybe it could be like a second chance. Well, anyway, I'm just rambling. Let's get back to reading now. Yeah, it's gonna end on that, right? Yeah. Alright, top down. Election night. Yeah, sure did. Wait, sure did what? I never know exactly what she's referring to. Well, that's not true, but I often don't know exactly what she's referring to. Now that he has all the power on the ship, Grand Emperor Ryu. I probably what she's talking about. It's even scarier not having any years of experience, I promise. Well, I guess if even they were scared, maybe I shouldn't feel too bad that I am too. No, no, you shouldn't. Don't worry. I would be scared myself. I'd be very, very scared. Daily report. Hmm. No pants, huh? Sounds like a party the old version of me would have liked. <laughs> that... That... Does she mean that seriously, or is that a joke? That sounds like a joke. I can't tell, though. She doesn't look like she's joking. A no-pants party! Woohoo! Ugh. Unpleasant. Oh, Yana, from Old Mute. She should find this interesting. But, like, I don't think I would have made it at the time, either. What is... I just realized I'm not exactly sure what this document is about. Hold on. It's about Oyana, obviously. Show Yang we've got a serious problem, I said immediately after appearing on the living room screen. Has the situation with the council gotten worse, she asked. Yes, obviously, I said, as if she couldn't tell. The first meeting of the, counselor af of the council after the election, and, like, suddenly, Chief Counselor Ryu has dropped any pretense of civility. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Of 
Queen Yana. What am I supposed to make of the woman that Mute trusted the most, and betrayed old Mute the most? How should I feel? I, I don't know, I would just hate her, because she's a piece of shit. Alright, here's the last one. Politics makes strange bedfellows. That's where they get Smith to go along with their plan, right? Well, like, maybe she should have found the time, considering. I like how protective she is, though. Old Mute was very protective of the ship and of the people that she loved. <clears throat> the people that she loved. Too strong to be scared of anything. Is it even possible? Well, okay. Maybe I can try. All this planning, all this confidence, in the end, it was... It was really all for nothing, wasn't it? Unfortunately, yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, that's all of it, I guess. Yeah. What now? Okay, that's it. We're pretty much out of power, so that's going to have to be the end of it for the day. Then tomorrow, Earth. But like, we're going to figure out a better way to interact than this dumb stupid dialogue wheel thing, right? I am so sick of putting words into your mouth. But I think... Well, okay, actually, why don't you tell me what you think first? What's your conclusion, Mr. Investigator? Uh, I hate everyone equally. N no, that... what? Like, everyone I read about? That's not even close to true. It was all Mute's fault. That's not true. Yana and Ryu were right. Like, in what they did? What? The fuck? N none of these represent my thoughts. What the fuck? Are you getting me? I hate, I hate everyone equally. No, it was all Mute's fault. No. Yana and Ryu were right. As in, like, just? In what they did? Fuck no. I, what? Is this a joke? Because they're just talking about how dialogue wheel, communicating through dialogue wheels are ridiculous, and then I'm given a dialogue wheel that doesn't represent my opinions at all? Fine, I hate everyone equally. I don't agree, but... Wait, hold, what is, hold on, what is she gonna... How would she respond to the other ones? All right, let me save it here, actually. I mean, it's all Mute's fault is bullshit, and that's obviously complete bullshit. Uh, the fuck? I did... This is horrible. <laughs> this feels horrible. Why, are, why do I only have three options and none of them represent my opinions? Not even close to them. It was all Mute's fault? Yeah, okay. Like, I wanted to be sure that was what you thought, too, before I said anything, but... I, I don't... It obviously wasn't all Mute's fault. At the core, it was the fault of Ryu and Yana. They were the main people behind this. That's how I feel about it, too. Really? That's how she feels? No matter how you look at it, they always overlooked something, didn't they? Old Mute completely failed to realize that her problem wasn't the peasantry and created her own worst enemy. That's true, she did have a problem with the peasantry. A very disgusting problem that she basically hated the peasantry. Hmm. But still, to conclude that it's all her fault is absurd. The construct who was here before me completely, under completely underestimated that awful fucking murderess and the horrible lengths her family would go to. Yeah. She was right. 
They were both terrible at security programs. They both completely failed everyone that depended on them. And now they're dead. <sighs> if only Old Mute was more like the construct you knew, more differential, they'd have never wiped her memory. I think I just said differential. I meant to say deferential. Big difference between differential and deferential. Hmm. They'd have never wiped her memory. I don't know. Maybe. <sighs> With how much... I, I, I don't know. Maybe they would have. Maybe they wouldn't have. And if only the construct who was here before me was more like old mute... She would have never let the murderers get the root password. It's all their fault. No, it's not. They messed up, but it's not all their fault. Anyway, I guess that's just how it is. I'm really looking forward to being together with you, though. I have a lot to learn still, and I'm going to count on you to be a good companion. No problem, I'll be there. I'm sure we'll be great together, though. I've already learned so much from our little investigation together in just one day. Like... Here's what I do know, though. I don't believe in second chances. I don't believe in clean breaks. You can't just ignore what happened in the past. You can't just say, it's better not knowing. Okay, I would agree with that. If there's one thing I've learned from the Construct, who is here before me, is that you can't just have a clean start. That's the sort of thing that gets the entire population of the Bagangwa killed. When Old Mute wrote her last message to be read after her memory was wiped, she said herself, You're me. I'm not a different person. I'm her. And that's what I believe, anyway. Like, it's okay if you don't. But I know that's what she'd want from me. I... I don't know. She kind of is the same person and she kind of isn't. I just... I don't know. I'm Old Mute. I portrayed Hyo So Young, a woman who loved me, for who I used to be and had my memories wiped. I'm the construct who you met. I stupidly underestimated what a traumatized little girl from the past could do, and decided I couldn't live with myself. Those aren't things that other people did. They're things I did. I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Okay, well I don't quite agree that they're things you did. They the kinda are. I mean, they kind of are, but... But learning from mistakes and learning from the past is always good, so that's good. I'm going to have a new job being your sidekick, but like, that doesn't mean I'm a new person. I'm Mute, AI in charge of your ship's security operations. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, Mute. New Mute. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Power down until tomorrow. Thank you so much for all you've done for me. Let's work hard together on Earth. Okay, let's see what kind of an ending I get. I like this. It's like a remix of the, uh, the main theme of the game. So there, I guess I'm probably in my ship, and there she is. AI in charge of security. And it looks like I'm drinking something on the rocks. And she looks happy. Now, what's going on there? Holding something. What am I holding? I don't know, I'm obviously in the ship, though. Oh, there we go. Ah! Okay, so that's like... Mute Sidekick Ending, End of Day 3. Thanks for playing. Okay, so that is the ending where you have Mute as your sidekick. I wonder if you can get her as your wife. If I press that stronger, maybe. I don't know. God, there's so many... There's gotta be so many different endings to this game. I'm really curious. 
All right, so I think she's a hologram. I'm, yeah, I think she's a hologram. Right there. <laughs> okay. She's been unlocked. Have you tried doing a factory reset? Okay, well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my additional playthrough of Hate Plus doing the male mute route. So, next, which I'm about to start right now, but I'm going to uh, put it into the next episode to keep these distinct from each other. Uh, what I'm about to start right now is a new playthrough as uh, doing the harem route, which I believe I can do now that I've finished it with both Hyane and mute separately. So now I believe I can have both of them with me at the same time, which should be really, really interesting. I have no idea how the hell that's going to work. It's going to be a mess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough, and I will be back very soon with yet another playthrough doing a different route.